Star, home to the Union of Independent Republic secret space program. Never been in UIR territory before. You still have it. Raskar was independent. The UIR had the pleasure of occupying, no, excuse me, liberating this glorious land. Okay, remember how I told you only pissed off nomads lived out here now? Meet Garen Paddock, the most pissed off and nomadic of them all. This is your old UIR contact? Two things I dislike, Baird. The cog and children. You've brought me both. Two things I dislike? Old men and deserts. And yet, here we are. <laughs> I like this one. Follow me. So, it turns out the UIR space program went way beyond what the COG publicly revealed. Somewhere in this Cosmodrome here, there's a rocket loaded with functional Hammer of Dawn satellites. I think we can get the entire system back online and start hitting the swarm where they live. If the UIR has satellites during the pendulum wars, why didn't you use them? The politicians wanted their armistice. Launching those satellites would have guaranteed another century of war. But still, someone our military tried to launch. It kind of triggered a small civil war, actually. So we know this Cosmodrome's layout. Where are the satellites? Try the rocket hangar. Here. And the wind flares are too severe to fly over that desert. So that's where your skiff comes in. Question. How do we know these satellites are still functioning? Or if they're even compatible with ours? Answer. We don't. And that's where you come in. Unless you're too cowardly, or stupid, or weak. Uh, uh, man, who is that? A friend, believe it or not. But for now, get to know the layout of that place. There's a good chance most of it's buried in sand. Oh, and uh, come and see me before you go. Notice the part where no one sure this will work. I don't care. We'll make it work. We have to. Maybe it's time you told me exactly what you saw in that machine. It's not what I saw. It's... It's what I felt. They have a queen now. They're not gonna stop. Look, I woke her up. So I have to stop her. Yeah, but this isn't all on you. Come on. Let's just go see Baird. This module off the table. Jack's about due for an upgrade. Done. What's it do? Follow me. So a couple of days ago, I sent Paddock a care package. Some DBs and some leeches. Hmm. Intriguing. Potentially disastrous, but intriguing. Thank you. See, the way you described Niles' machine gave me an idea. I call it Hijack. Go ahead. Try it out. Show him what you got, Jack. Figured out how to override the hive mind? Uh, no. Jack just floods their brains with voltage. It's crude, doesn't last long, but it works. So much swarm can we use it? Well, our test subject data is limited, obviously, but uh, you know what? Go nuts out there. See what happens. Oh, uh, one more thing. Stop by and see Paddock before you go. He's out front.
One more thing. Once we get this hammer up, I need to know if I can rely on you. Don't worry about that. This time, we're gonna do it right. You know what happened to Lizzie in the convoy? It wasn't your fault. Kind of you to say, but I'm the one who pushed the button. I had a bad feeling about it. I didn't want to do it, but I did. So that's on me. Speaking of uh, all that, have you seen JD around lately? Try my best not to, kid. Hey, Baird. What's this Guardian doing here? Oh, just sputzing around with its shield generators. that Patty guy's accent? It's Garazzi. Yeah, and? And they kind of had a rep back in the day. Torture, war crimes. Remember where I come from, the cog had the same rep. Come have a look, children. Until a few weeks ago, we were holding out fine against your so-called swarm. Then everything changed. They got smarter. Suddenly they were wearing armor, and they started making these. Take one, if you want. So you all have been fighting the swarm alone? Yes, which is why I agreed to let Baird come here. We help you with your rocket launch. You help us take back our land. Speaking of which, our water supply's been cut off. We've been trying to restore it, but your swarms made that difficult, to say the least. Getting the hammer up's our priority, but say we help. What do you need? Our water tower. You'll pass it on the way out. Haven't heard from my people there in a while. Could be nothing, could be something. Check in if you can. All right. And now the big question. Are you children really prepared for this? Because your skiff's ready on the runway, and the desert awaits. New weapons, new armor. You're changing. I did some training in the Deadlands back in OCS. Let me know if you want a few desert fighters. You know, only one of us grew up in a city, and it wasn't me. I think I can handle it. Okay. I've never seen weird formations like this before. It's sand. Sapped and superheated by a lightning. Oh, yeah? How does that work? High shock pressure. It changes the sand's atomic structure. 
You're my friend, Mr. Colin. We should be teaching science. Because you can't. Kate. Maybe you should try listening for once. Kate. I'm listening. Yeah, well, don't bother. I'm done. Okay. Because I'm here to help. If you'll have me. I'm sorry. What? Dad told me about Mount Kadar. What you learned. And... Look, I, I know you don't trust me. After everything that happened... What I've done, I don't blame you. So what does Jin think about you being here? Jin doesn't know. Really? And let me guess, he's here to pitch in too? Yeah. Turns out, Foz isn't so bad. No, I am actually. You just got used to me. Who the hell are they? Friends. They'll be joining us. Yeah? I don't like them. Shocker. You want these two along? Fine. But I deal with you, not them. You good with that? Like I said, I'm here to help. Baird. Come on, then. Let's hop in that raven and find some satellites. No, raven. The wind flares out there will kill you. So what? We walk there. Hey, man, if you want to walk, feel free. But we got other plans. Oh, it's not that skiff, is it? Okay, man, before we go, I got a bone to pick. A big one. Sure. Pick away. You lied to me. And then, after you got hurt, you pushed us away. Like... Like we didn't even know you. I haven't exactly been myself, though. I know that. So who showed up today? Your friend. For what it's worth, I tried to convince him to embrace Dark JD. But something about you two brings out the best in him. I'll cover Dark. All right, we'll just wait here. Delta, Paddock just let me in on something that's kind of relevant. When the UIR base commander thought he was going to lose to the Rebels, he infected all military computers with some sort of boot sector virus. Meaning most of the tech we'll find out here has been bricked for decades. Yeah. Jack should be able to power past any remaining malware and reboot the machine. He just needs access. All right, Baird. Understood. Hey, I'm guessing that's the water tower Paddock mentioned. We're going to check you out. say they're doing here trying to get their water supply back online I think we just discovered the problem Swarm! so let's get in there and clean them out No, 
snipers on high. Shit, they're really dug in up here. Not seeing any of the nomads. Not alive, anyway. Don't worry about them after! Make it out of this. Someone's in there. All right, come on. Out. There's no one in here. Oh, cute trick. Guess that's how you survived. Namira, go get Koi. I'm not really hearing gratitude here. All right, Delta. Grab anything useful. Then we head out. Saved one of your engineers of the water tower. She was <laughs> a handful. Oh, her. So she survived. That's wonderful. Well, we still need help. Check the pump station and the old docks. We're drilling for groundwater there. All right. If we get time, we'll look into it. Delta out. Meeting that engineer was sort of like experiencing the entire tragedy of Asgar in five minutes. Tell me about it. Although she did remind me of my mum. Why you turned out the way you did suddenly makes so much more sense. Hey, there must be the pump station. Are we stopping? All right, let's have a look inside. Seems pretty quiet. Could be a good sign. Very bad. Ah, Yaya, Dorsir, Yaya, Kakatsa. Hey, you okay back there? Can we help? Wah, wah, Kog, Esta no está nui. En paus tan tiling pong. Robot, Obuki. Ho fan fabin, Robot, Obuki. Wait, Robot. I, I think he needs Jack's help. Ota, Ota! Robot Obuki! Robot Obuki! Nahiko! Nahiko! Heads up! Incoming juvies! Let's keep him back! Let's go! 
Mufant Babin, robado buki. Let's go see what kind of condition Paddock's drill is. Great. This place is crawling with storm. They don't see us yet. We can pick a few off quietly. Docks. Your drill looks okay. I don't think it's damaged. I'd appreciate if you verified that. Fire it up. But if it starts to shake and smoke, maybe run. Okay.
right, Jack. It's, um, it's all you. Paddock, we got your pump station up and running again. Then you have my thanks. Hey, look who's here. A friendly local engineer from the water tower. Oh, pan up. Oh, and she's as charming as ever. Iba durtin pin seri do po. Pejna kiel utusnik malam. Tivar tari mimil se mundu fike. Abuna damanu du bushi. Koibo. Antonin. Wow. There's a lady here wired up a surge detector to her cloaking device. That's clever. Oh, this should work great for us. Okay, so Nur Ninin has no spoke funny and no bookie. Uh, thanks. That lady is an absolute nut. I think it's time we got back to the skiff. Yeah, all right, Delta. Let's head out. Oh, shit. Just realized. Forgot my sunscreen. Paddock, I gotta tell you. Some of your people are out here going kind of crazy. What do you expect? They're trapped in an endless cycle of isolation and violence. Yeah, well, I can see how that would affect a person. They mean well. I mean, many of them despise you and everything you stand for, but try not to take that personally. No, of course not. Look, we'll be in touch. Delta out. Paddock said there's plenty of swarm out here, so stay sharp. <laughs> Shit, they're here. So, how are we handling this? Come on, let's get inside.
That's it. They're done. Good night. Paddock, the swarm tried to stop us, but we're heading into the hangar now. Good. Your rocket should be inside. Let me know when you need translations. Because you will. I speak five languages. Okay, got it. Inside. Help me. So, where do we go? The place look huge from the outside. It's gotta have a mission control. Or command center. Or whatever the UIR called it. Eh, mission control is accurate enough. And keep going. It's close. Reckon there's even more bodies beneath all this sand. Way to keep it light, Files. Another door. Help me. This must be the place. Let's get some light in here. Side of that glass. Well, the lights work at least. And I'd say we found the rocket hangar. Maybe I need new glasses, but I'm not seeing any rocket. Paddock, Barry. The hangar's empty. Well, shit. If the rocket was moved, there's gotta be a record of it. You know what? Hack into an access port. Let's see if Jack can bypass that virus. Okay, Jack. Let's pull some records. Okay, Jack's giving me a window into the mainframe. For work. Jack's got this. Right, buddy? Huh. No virus can stop Jack. Huh. Data's coming in. Got it. I assume we can read this? Yes, but much of it is encrypted. Okay, the rocket's nose cone is close. Check the assembly chamber on the other side of the hangar. Nose cone? What about the rocket? The hammer satellites are part of the nose cone. Go deal with that, and we'll keep digging on the rocket's location. Wilco, Delta out. All right, let's go find those satellites. Fox, you're bad, Mari. You read those files? Nah, I was born in Minofira. My parents wouldn't even speak that story with me growing up. They want to see me different. This way. It's called a gantry. Is it then? Oi! Back here. This thing's our way across. 
Finally, something I can Come on, you lot. All aboard. Okay, Foz, take us across. With pleasure. One thing, Joe. I mentioned how the UIR attacked that facility tried to launch our Hammer of Dawn satellites. Yeah? I led that attack. Did? Why? To destroy the Kong. Yeah, well, makes sense. Uh, these days, I'm somewhat less interested in destroying the Kong. Good to know, Paddock. Okay, let's go. Way to the satellites. Give me a hand. Well, no satellites here. Let's keep looking. Paddy, I'm curious. How long did your siege against this place last? Three days. We attacked the moment Premier Deshinko sat down with your chairman to discuss the armistice. You hit us with the hammer first. We thought it was only fair to hit back. Okay. Also, Paddock, the cog that hammered you 50 years ago isn't us. We're not them. Well, if you launch those satellites, you'll be doomed to make the same mistakes. What is this knob even on about? Oh, good 
satellites. the hammer yourself but now you're saying it's a mistake what gives your launch you'll buy us some time but eventually they'll win you must know this no i don't Over here. 
Realized if my parents hadn't have left Ascot, my dad might have been here fighting off Paddock's men. Uh, you, Lascari, what did your father do? He was a surgeon. <laughs> then he was lucky. We shot every doctor we captured. Uh, can we turn him off? Okay, should be through here. Grab the other side. On the nose cone. Oh, man, but it's missing satellites. Wait. I see the others. Either side of the chamber. Let's get on that gantry. We'll load them up one at a time. Good idea. I'll drive. Bring the gantry in closer, Jack. Just like the last one. Make the call. Choices, choices. All right, off we go then. Um, having a problem, pal? No. Just figuring it out. So our friend Pat has got some uh, interesting thoughts on the hammer of dawn. <laughs> Uzi to judge. He tried to look himself. Okay, let's get that thing loaded onto the nose cone. sitting pretty on the nose cone. One down. Then let's get the gantry over to the other side. Right. On it. might be a little rough. Hey, what if Paddock's right about launching the satellites? Oh shit! Swarm on the other platform! Oh, 
Oh, shit! This is the opposite of higher? I'm aware of that. Got it! Got it! Just keep us moving! Doing my best! all of them? Uh, yeah, it looks like it, yeah. Then Foz, dock the gantry so we can connect the satellite. Let's get this done.
some trouble, mate. Reboot it. for another switch, just like the other one. There. Watch your head. Here comes satellite number two. Satellite secured. Back onto the gantry. Let's get him to the hangar. Uh, not to burst any bubbles, but we're not getting anywhere till we open that big round door. Uh, well, there's a platform up there. Head over to it. You read my mind. All aboard! Come on, back on this uh, platforming thing. Okay, let's get up there. Okay, so we're kind of Launching these satellites is a bad idea. He's right that the hammer's dangerous. Believe me, get that now. Not launching these satellites is dangerous. Believe me. A world on fire is better than the world in front. We get this thing back to the hangar. We worry about the rest later. Let's try this. Guys, our ride's leaving. God damn it. Opening that door must have triggered some automated sequence. So we babysit it on foot then. And I was just getting out of the driving it. Come on, up these stairs. We can't lose that nose cone. There, let's keep up with it. Watch it, below us.
Come on, let's catch up to the satellites. here there it is let's keep up paddock bear we're escorting the satellites back to the hangar now good we're still decrypting these old files but we're making progress head out to your speed we'll find your rocket soon enough all right we're on our way Once we're back in the hangar, we can work our way outside. Need some help. Looks like we're all clear. Okay. Just so you know, whether we get the hammer working or not, I'm glad we came. Yeah, but if we don't get the hammer working, whether you came or not, it won't matter. Just find a way back. Over there! Incoming!
Putting a rocket together would be so difficult. Hmm. Assist. Scientists. Rocket scientists. And anyone who's used the expression, it's not rocket science. What do you think? They just push a button marked launch? Oh, I see. Yeah. Pick on the handsome one. Cut him down to size. So, we're back across. And for the record, <laughs> I'm the handsome one, okay? Paddock, we're almost out of here. Any leads on that rocket? Yes. It's at a turntable in the east, beyond the Dune Sea. There's a rail bridge blocking the way, but don't worry. My people will raise it for you. So, out in the desert, find train tracks. Then you'll know you're on the right path. Copy that. All right, let's head for the skiff. You know, all this time I thought I was the answer. Oh, dear God. <gasps> Question for you. No, I'm on launch break. Of course I'm still here. Okay, what exactly stopped you from launching the hammer? The usual problems faced by 200 dedicated patriots trying to defeat 3,000 cowards. You know, you could just have agreed to the armistice and spared a lot of lives. A Groznian proverb for you. A just war is better than an unjust peace. So, just exactly how many Groznian proverbs justify? Most of them. All right, let's head out. Children, one more thing. The bridge controls weren't networked, so the base commander's virus didn't affect them. But the bridge itself hasn't been lifted in decades. What do you say? You worried about your people not being able to raise it? No, they'll handle it. But that bridge is old and rusty and... Just, when you're beneath it, don't linger. Copy that. All right, you heard him. Let's head for the bridge. So, this Pat. How does Baird even know it? Apparently, Paddock served in the COG for a while. That guy was COG. When? Unclear. They didn't seem that eager to talk about him either. Turntable. 
Boss, as a Vasgari, are you feeling any, uh, I don't know, connection to this place? Nah. To be honest, I'm glad my parents came to their senses and left. I mean, growing up around here, in the desert, shaking sand wash from your shoes. Nah, I'm good, mate. You know this always wasn't a desert, right? Most of this used to be seashore. Long before I was born, mate. There's the bridge. I hope Paddock's nomads can raise it. There it goes! Well, they haven't dropped it yet! That's good, right? And we're through! On to the turntable! Turns face in the wrong direction, which is why it's called a turntable. Grab the other side and let's get in there. Okay, now how do we turn this thing? I started by finding a control room. Thank <laughs> you. 
into a gunfight, mate! All right! Turntable's clear. Come on, let's get that train turned around. Yeah, this'll work. Need another pair of hands here. Looks like a control room to me. Now to access the control room. Dead! 
out here. Good news, children. I don't know how you did it, but my scouts have just informed me that your rocket train safely entered the hangar. Glad to hear it, Paddock. That's the end of my good news. You have another task. Go secure the hammer's targeting beacons. Targeting beacons? But for the hammer of dawn? Our system was based on targeting beacons. I was saving that info until we knew you could get the rocket. So where are these beacons? In the southwest, a cosmonaut training facility. And to be clear, if we don't secure those beacons, we don't have a hammer of dawn. Okay, we're on it. What's going on with these trucks? I don't get it. Where the hell is it? Oh, that's not good. Ninun, Eki! Opon is the carnier! It's no stuck in Durma Botoki! Okay, I I'm gonna assume they're in trouble here. Come on, Delta, let's head inside! Ruse! Jamaksa! Shit. Guys, we got pods. I don't like this. going on? Why aren't they engaging? Come on, let's get inside. Jack, <coughs> rip that door. You know this is a trap, right? Oh yeah, I'm well aware it's a trap. And here they come! Hunters! <laughs> okay, let's see what you got! This must be how they hit the Nomad! Pour them in, and then take them out! Get inside and see what we can find. Check 
the Nomad's comm center. Could we want it back for them? Maybe they won't mind. City ruin. Your people got hit pretty hard here. Ah, one of my scavenger crews, and two others are still missing. If we come across them, we'll try to help. I would very much appreciate that. for the beacons. Good to know. We're standing by. I've been wondering, how the hell did all this UIR space program stuff not get out? I mean, how did the COG keep it secret? Simple, when the COG also runs the newspapers. And historians have to apply for a permit to write books. Secrets? Secrets are easy to keep. Yeah. We can all agree on that one. Guys, check out this crater. What the heck happened here? The cog happened. They fired a light mass missile on us when we were moments from seizing control of that entire facility. Wait, I'm confused. The cog? I thought this was a UIR civil war. The losers don't write the history books, Vescari. You, of all people, should know that. Glad you could rope my ethnicity into the discussion again. Yeah, thanks for that. All right, let's see what we got in here. Help me. Okay, Paddock, we're here. Listen, during our attack, I was certain the beacons were somewhere inside that place. But that computer virus locked us out of every building before I could get to them. And until your bot deals with that, you won't get to them either. You hear that, buddy? Thanks in your tiny metal hands. Look for a terminal to access in the lobby security office. Your bot sent out a pulse. Maybe that will show us the way to get in there. Jack, pulse. Guys, what if we sent Jack through that vent? Jack, see if that vent will get you to the security office. How to, where do we start looking once we lift the virus? The centrifuge building. The beacons were most likely hidden there. Centrifuge. Got it. But move quickly. A storm is headed your way. Facilities activating, Delta. See? I knew Jack could do it. No sweat. Paddock, Jack cracked the virus. We're in. Then you now have full access to the entire facility. That's gotta be the same. And storm or no storm, we're heading over there. That's not a good sign. Red condor out there. Yo, Bear, you lose a condor by any chance? 
Several, in fact, while running weapons to a certain, you know, desert-dwelling friend of mine. Keep whatever you find. Uh, okay. Solid copy. Trouble believing Baird did something covert? Really? Yeah, well, when you put it that way. Looks like we're gonna have to go through that storm to get there. Let's make it quick. I haven't run into any swamp yet. That's a fairly good sign. Don't hold your breath. We paddock civil war in the weather. It crawled in anywhere. On me, up here. Shell spaces? How advanced was the UIR space program? It's a blot. Now what? Jack, activate that crate. Mm -hmm.
Jack. Let's do it again. Well, that didn't work. Then we try another one. DBs weren't corrupted. Come on, this way. Look out! Almost there! Centrifuge building's dead ahead. Hang on, we got a straggler. Beacons. Let's check the security cameras. No good. Try the other one. Well, look who it is. Oh shit, more of them. Guys, look. The beacons are tucked away in the capsule. Yeah, but how do we get them out? We could bring the arm around. There's a platform over there. Where's the shot? Jack, see what you can do. Can't believe that knack thing still works. Not slowing down. Oi, boy! What did you do? This thing's older than you are, man. Jack's not a miracle worker. What about an emergency break? Well, there's some controls in base. Got 
Well, that's heavy. All right, Baird, we're heading back. Paddock, send your people for the rest of these beacons when you can. Delta, let's get back to the skiff. You know, Paddock's sending folks out here. We should probably clear out the rest of the city. He's lost on enough people. Yeah, sorry, guys. I'm not going to be much using a firefight at the moment. Stay close to me. JD, you good? Yeah, just lead the way. Well, storms no better. If anything, it's worse. Too bad. We're going back into it. Okay, Delta. Our way out's on the other side. We got swarms, people! Jack, oh, get behind those stands for that thing! They're called poker right!
Skiff's not much farther. Yeah, easy for you to say. JD, how's the beacon? Not damaged. That's the important part. Kind of relying on you to keep it safe. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Fate of the world, no pressure. Hear that? Storm's dying down. Yeah, now that we're through it. Come on, let's check on the skiff. Foss, Del. Why don't you get the other side? Come on, Delta. Let's get back to the skiff. You know something, Kate? You're pretty good at this military leadership thing. I'm not trying to be good at anything. Yeah, that's probably why you're good at it. When we're done sharing the corporal with compliments, we should decide whether we're heading straight back to the airfield or not. Faz is right. Oh, man. It's gonna injure my soul. Fortunately, it doesn't happen, though. Well, there's one thing I don't get. This wasn't UIR territory originally. So, why'd they build their Hammer of Dawn program so close to the COG border? That's gory technology, my friend. It's what we're known for. We invented the transistor, the microchip. Of course, while we were making the world a more civilized place, our neighbors were inventing tanks and rifles and missiles. I reckon the UIR moved in, found some lovely facilities, and said, oh, hello, we'll take that. Piss off, thanks. I mean, where's the most devious possible place to build your super weapon? Right along your enemy's border. Brilliant, really. Okay. So our pallets nomads up to the task of hauling back the rest of those beacons. Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. And they seem pretty tough, but this desert's not forgiving. For anyone. Baird trusts Paddock, we trust Baird. It's all about the transitive property, we trust Paddock's nomads. The, the tr transit transitive what? Books, Bob. They're filled with valuable insights and concepts. No, honestly, I wouldn't know. How about this? We trust Paddock and his nomads till they give us a reason not to. And they haven't yet. Works for me. Hey, I've noticed something, that the swarms seem different. Smarter, more cunning. Yeah, rocking spiffy new weapons and armor, too. Paddock warned us about that. Said it started happening like a few days ago. When we were at Mount Qadar. Wait, you don't think it's connected to? To when they got their queen back? Yeah, I know it is. And it's only gonna get worse if we don't get the hammer back online. Anfield's just ahead. Work the skip as close as you can. I think it's kinda heavy. And so we meet again. to bear. Lead the way. Got it. Where's Bear? In back. He was explaining to me the new modification he made for your little bot friend. It was boring. So I came out here. We should probably unload this targeting beacon ASAP. <laughs> and you think that's going to save the world? Baird, we're here with the beacon. Excellent. I'll meet you around back. Wait, if Baird's going back to New Affair with the beacon, how are we getting back? Well, if there's a raven about, I can fly us home. Oh, no. Didn't you crash your basic training? Oh, I had a slight miss out. Yeah. Otherwise known as a crash. Set that targeting beacon down. I'll deal with it in a bit. Gladly. Hey, Baird, can we talk? Yeah, uh, listen, kid. You still got a rocket to launch, and I need to get back to New Fira. Yeah, right, of course. JD, we're fine. I'm just working through it. We can talk later. I appreciate that. Thanks. 
Paddock said you were working on something? Yeah, uh, a new and improved shield prototype for Jack. Go ahead, install it. Installed. Tell us about it. It's actually very interesting. First, it creates an ionized vector. Baird, cancel class and get out here! Swarm coming in! Short version, it stops bullets. Now get up there and use it! Delta, come on! Almost dead! Shield! Ah, success! On the very first test, too! Wait, you never tested it? Invited. You pay the price. Jack, take him. Get to the tarmac before Baird loses his ride home! You're dead! Okay. 
airfield secure. No pair can get in the big now. Come on, we still have shit to do with this bloody desert. All right, Delta, back on the skip. Up ahead. Shit. That's the convoy, all right. All right. Let's get in there and see what we can do. Look! They're still fighting. We gotta help them. Paddock, mate, you hearing this? He says the beacons are safe. I'll send someone to pick them up now. And don't worry, they'll be well armed. So go, deal with your rocket. All right, Delta out. All right, we're done here. Let's get back on the skiff. I swear, we have to save these nomad skins one more time. Hey, give them a break. They've been fighting out here alone for months. Uh. I'm heading out. I'll be in touch. All right, Baird. Safe travels. You too. Good luck. So, what's the plan now? The hangar. It's time to put that rocket together. Sounds good to me. What about Paddock Snowman? They have stuck their necks out for us. Maybe we own something for that. Sure. But if we don't get our rocket launched soon, it's not just Paddock's nomads we'll be worrying about. I'll steer. Okay, now that we're all together, here's a question I've always wanted to ask. When you two went AWOL, did you miss me? Oh, uh, yeah, not really. Absolutely not. Hey, did either of these two talk about the handsome boys they trained with? Uh, well, they did mention this one arrogant, brutal asshole. Hey, did you know that guy too? No, but he sounds like a top bloke, honestly. <laughs> it's okay, I know you guys miss me. You know... 
I may have complained a bit. Or a lot. Or a lot, thank you, Del. But this has actually been a pretty ripping time, all in all. To sum it up, 8 out of 10. We'll do it again. And it's been surprisingly not terrible having you along. Yeah, I'll take that, yeah. Get the other side. Let's finish this. Paddock, we're back at the hangar. Everything should be ready. Good. Baird left instructions he asked me to read you. And I quote, Get inside. Initiate the rocket assembly procedure. Launch aforementioned rocket and hope these satellites talk to ours. End quote. Wait. Hope the satellites talk to ours? What do you want from me? I can barely turn on a computer. Go press the button and see what happens. Oh boy. I'm beginning to understand why he never launched his rocket. favorite rocket. Let's get down to the platform and throw a switch. Yeah, see what happens. We could have hidden half a city in here. Massive. Yeah. Don't envy whoever had to build it. It's assembling. Look out! There's a bloody snatcher in here! Son of a bitch! You know, I, I think it did that on purpose. Who gives a shit? We need to get that nose cone back into place!
Gotta get on that gantry and realign the nose cone. Rocket delivered. What now? Now we raise it into position. Manually, from the looks of it. Which Come means on. we need to find the control room. Yeah, initiate launch. Oh. And then head back to base. Oh, bloody hell. No one told me hanging with you lot would be so much work. Well, the UIR definitely didn't design this with the jack interface in mind. All right, Jack, go ahead. Don't be shy. supposed to happen, right? Doesn't make it any less weird. Thank you. And there you go. One rocket successfully raised.
anyone got any bright ideas? Shit! It's gonna crush the platform! We're trapped! We gotta make it let go! Thank <laughs> you. 